Hey everyone, Rick here, and our adventuring party is in trouble, folks. No, not because they don't have the skill to take on this wind elemental, but because they forgot their dice. But thanks to our friends at Kaka Popo TCG, we have a lot of RPG accessories here to help us out of our conundrum, including this beauty. Oh, that's right, the Lord of the Dice. 1d6 to replace them all. Every side of this six-sided die is a different polyhedral die spinner. And folks, this thing is impressive. Let me just say up front, all of this was provided to me free of charge as a Kickstarter preview. And check the description as well as the pinned comment for the link to the Kickstarter project. Also, much of what you're going to see here is a prototype. So very representative of the final project, but not necessarily exactly how things will turn out. But folks, this is super impressive. We have a lot of different products to go through. Let's take a peek at a few of them straight away. We have some gorgeous metal polyhedral die sets. We have some dice boxes. These are heavy, folks. These are heavy. These are metal. I believe in the final Kickstarter project, there are going to be different finishes that you can get on these. We're going to look at each of these individually, but I mean, these are just absolutely fantastic and so well made. I cannot stress that enough. If you spin one of the sides of these dice, it is going to be spinning for quite a while. And again, this is potentially just a prototype, but it is absolutely fantastic. Every side is going to be a different creature of one kind or the other. We'll take a closer look at both of those in a second. Some more metal polyhedral dice and some very cool milk carton looking dice boxes that also can absolutely be used as deck boxes as well. For pricing information, for all the different reward levels, the estimated delivery dates, all that kind of stuff, definitely check the Kickstarter project. I'm recording this well in advance, so I don't want to quote anything because, of course, things may change. But if not at the moment you are seeing this video, then shortly thereafter, the Kickstarter project is going live because it is going live on Thursday, June 29th at noon Pacific time. And with that out of the way, let's just take a look at what everyone is probably really curious about right now. As soon as I got my hands on one of these, I was so thoroughly impressed. Let me set the tripod down so we don't have a bunch of shaky cameras as we take a peek at how freaking cool this thing actually is. So again, six-sided die. It's going to have everything from the D4, D6, D8, D12, D10. I went out of order there all the way to a D20. Here's our D4 right here. These things spin so smooth. And the creator of the project, I've spoken with him. I've given him feedback of my own uh, What after using these with my friends, um, some comments they had. Obviously, one of the big things was, okay, this is taking so long to spin. That's a blessing and a curse, right? A blessing because how freaking mechanically satisfying is that? But, obviously, when you want to roll a D4, you expect the result in an instant. Well, a solution my friends and I have come up with is give it a good spin and then just pop it down. And what do you have? All right, we just rolled a 2. You'll notice there are the printed sides that point to the result. So... There you have it. Uh, that worked really well for us. Another feedback that some people had was they wish the numbers were in a more random order. I'm no mathematician. I'm no statistician. However, from some feedback that I've gotten is when this thing is spinning 100 miles an hour, it honestly may not matter what order the numbers are in because, bam, that's just going to be a random result. I mean, it didn't matter what and of course, I could be wrong. Those that we've played around with these as well could be wrong, but that was something that we did reach out to the creator and say there were some concerns that some people did wish the numbers were in a random order. Uh, you'll have to check the final project to see if they made any uh, uh, substitutions for that. But in the event that they didn't, I mean, I just, my pea brain after spinning this Bam, how is that not just an absolutely random result? Either way, 
folks, even if you don't use these for your actual gaming, if you have attention span issues like I do, oh my gosh, just this is just a fidget spinner level of satisfaction. So when I'm having a hard time concentrating and I'm clicking my pen, I'm fidgeting with my dice, boom, this takes that away. And you can get multiple of these going at the same time. Oh my gosh. You can spin the entire thing if you want to. This is the main focus, I believe, of the Kickstarter project. Again, they're going to come in different finishes. Um, we can look at some of the different sides here. Like there's a Kraken. There's a Minotaur. There's a Dragon. There's a Beholder. There is a, looks like a Phoenix. And what was the other one? Actually, there may be two dragons. I think this is an undead dragon. And then this is the Mighty D20 actual dragon. And I think I got all the sides on that one. And the sides are the same on this other one. But these are absolutely fantastic. In addition to these, there's going to be a whole variety of metal coins. But also, let's take a look at some of these actual dice. So, in the event, and I'm pretty sure all of this will be available in the Kickstarter, um, including those dice and deck boxes. But if I'm wrong, um, I'm sure the Kakapopo TCG folks. And this packaging is fantastic as well. But again, I don't know if this is representative of the final packaging for this kind of stuff either. Um, I'm sure you can get some of that other stuff through some of their other sales venues potentially. Um, but look at this die. So if not, if not spinning that big D6 is your thing, then here you go. This is a hefty metal D20. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely fantastic. We've got the full gamut here. Now that is, and you may have already been kind of shouting at your screen, Rick, what about the percentile die? In this kind of a set, there absolutely is the percentile die. There is no percentile die here, but if you wanted to roll the D10 as well as the percentile die from your own collection, that'll solve that. But look at these deck boxes or dice boxes, folks. So there's going to be different ones of these. These are the same kind of... Um, artwork that's on the die itself so like here's the kraken but oh my gosh look at this and this thing is heavy but on the inside and it's magnetic four magnets here and that is just like oh my gosh that is not opening whatsoever that those are strong magnets again we have the creator there the manufacturer there and uh then we have this hive looking deal so we can store some dice in here but also you can actually take this out so in the event that you don't want to use a polyhedral die set with this you may be able to stick some um, just regular d6 in here if you wanted to do that or whatever you want to do being able to remove this hive insert is fantastic and so Speaking of these kind of dice box things, let's take a look at these. So these are just absolutely fun. I mean, this looks like a milk carton and it has fun graphics on all sides of it. Like keep away from fire hazards, contains shiny click clacks, start your day with a nat 20. I mean, how adorable is that so i've already i've already filled this up i've got a magic the gathering deck in here as you can see there's plenty of room your sleeves you're gonna have no problem storing any kind of uh cards in here with whatever size sleeves that you use um in addition to that though there is i don't know if you'd call it a secret compartment but underneath the lid you can slide this out and that's where i have some dice stored so inside the lid of this milk carton looking thing is a perfect little storage area for some dice. Of course, you could just fill this entire thing up with dice, but then it all just slides on there and clicks shut. Perfect. And as you may have seen, comes in multiple colors. So I just thought that those are absolutely fantastic. Here's another set of these metal dice. These are done in more of a silver. Folks, there's gonna be so many options, so many amazing metal products, but these dice hive 
magnet closing cases. I mean, your dice absolutely deserve something like this to be stored in because that is going to keep them so secure. Just listen to that. It's like, oh my gosh. So let's like store. I have a little set of dice here that I just took out of my milk carton thing. So there is my full seven die polyhedral set. Fits in there perfectly. Oh my gosh. How freaking cool is that? Ready to go. Absolutely love that. So again, folks, check the link in the description as well. I'll post it in a pinned comment for pricing, dates, all the different accessories you can pledge for, metal coins. Um, one of the things I thought I saw on the preview page was that they're going to give away a free coin for every certain amount of funds that you pledge in the Kickstarter. So there's potential freebies there. But folks, this is the Lord of the Dice. 1d6 to rule them all, to replace them all is actually, I think, what they say. But I mean, again, even if you don't use this in your game... This is a conversation piece. The moment I brought this out with my friends, they were enamored with this. Everyone wanted to touch it. Everyone wanted to spin it. Oh my gosh, it is fantastic. That is going to be the icebreaker at your next game night. This is going to be the focus of your next game night, at least initially until everyone's had a chance to play around with it. I mean, this is just an absolutely brilliant idea. I love it. I hope you do too. Again, all of this was provided to me by Kakapopo TCG. Check out the Kickstarter, folks. But as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time.